before i talk about node.js i want to discuss few things about v8 guys first question is what is v8 now v8 is a google's javascript engine what is javascript engine javascript engine is a program that converts javascript into something that processor can understand that is nothing but machine language okay and it will strictly follow ecmascript standard which is nothing but it's a standard that tells how a language should behave what features should language have okay if you see any javascript engine like spider monkey or v8 or if you want to create your own javascript engine that needs to be or that need to follow ecmascript standard you can't create your own engine and you can't create your own uh, syntax right everyone should follow certain standards of how language should behave okay if you want to know more about v8 how v8 works behind the scenes i will give one video in the description please go and watch that i have explained everything in depth okay now second point is it is an open source that is nothing but source code is publicly available okay third and important point is it it can run stand alone or can be embedded into any c++ program stand alone means it can do its purpose on its own it won't depend on any any other library or third party framework okay embedded means you can add it to any other c++ program and last point is it is written in c++ program yes guys v8 is a program that will convert javascript into machine code but v8 itself is written in c++ program using c++ program right now you might be wondering from where i got all these points if i go to google and if i type v8.dev we will land on this page you can see first point says v8 is google's open source which we already discussed and it is written in c++ which we already discussed here and it it can be embedded into any c++ application which i told here okay now this is the main point guys what i'll do is that i will just zoom it to 125 i'll go to next slide uh, i'll adjust it like this okay now here i have created a c++ program and i have embedded that with google's v8 engine v8 is again written in c++ we already know that okay now just because i have added my or i have embedded my c++ code to v8 doesn't mean that the actual functionality the actual concept the actual nature of the v8 will affect it will still work like it is working it will still convert the javascript code that you give give to it into machine code or a code that processor can understand okay only difference is that i am adding some extra functions some extra features with my c++ program for example let's take print if i type print and hello we all know that print concept is not there in javascript obviously there is nothing called print in javascript but still if you write print and if you type uh, something called hello world inside print it will execute it will print that as a output hello world as a output why because even though it is not a part of v8 even though it is not a part of javascript it is a part of my prob my code it is a part of my program which i have embedded so that is why it will still take it as valid point and will execute that okay and one more important point my c++ program doesn't have to follow ecmascript standard because my program is not a v8 engine my program is not limited to browser right it's it's a separate entity i have written my own program with some methods and functions okay that is why i don't follow any ecmascript standards okay now this c++ program embedded with v8 is called as node.js guys so node is nothing but it's just a c++ program embedded with v8 okay and here i have a clear definition guys node.js is a cross platform runtime environment for executing javascript code outside the browser okay and here cross platform means it will not depend on any operating system okay open source means my this my c++ code plus uh, v8 engine this package is also node is also available in the google you can just go and download that so that is why it's open source and it is written in c++ you already know that it's a c++ program embedded with v8 and v8 is also a c++ code okay now runtime environment what is runtime environment you see my c++ program is not particular to any browser right wherever there is my code where if if my code is sitting on your system you can execute you can run javascript there so that is why it's called as runtime environment for executing javascript outside the browser right now i hope you understood the clear picture of what node.js is actually now let's see some other points i'll go i'll go to next slide so here first point is there are many modules in node.js example http can be used on server side makes it full stack so that is nothing but uh, like i said there could there will be many modules many functions methods in my c++ program if uh, in that the best example is or the popular uh, module is http using this one you can accept request from browser and you can send response 
right so that makes javascript a server side programming language right so that means i am using same javascript but i am writing server side code with the same javascript so javascript is being used for in the front end side and on the back end side to write server code okay that will make it full stack that means only one programming language we are using for both front end and back end and next point is it is single threaded and uses event driven non blocking io architecture to explain this one line it will take an entire video that is why next video is going to be completely on this one line guys so uh, just to recap node.js is a runtime cross platform runtime environment for executing javascript outside the browser everywhere not instead of just browser we can run javascript everywhere okay in the next video we'll see what is this single threaded what is this event driven non blocking io architecture everything we'll see in depth in next video until then hit that subscribe button and follow along with me guys thank you